You wraithed it up then, eh? Yeah. Nice. I like, I'm, I'm pretty good. I like, I like how fast he is. Yeah. So, so far I like the wraith and I like the hag. I don't know what killer I'm going to do. I'm probably going to take a look at perks. Although, I don't know if I care at perks as much as I do at the characters, but I know there's some good ones that I want. I know the trickster had one. I can't remember what it is. But there was one that he had that I wanted that I saw. What killer are you using? Oh, you tricky bastard. The dredge. Oh, yeah. You guys wouldn't just abandon this generator, would you? I know you wouldn't leave. Fuck, they're definitely gone. Anyway. Oh, and sometimes you know they're close, but there's the odd chance they did run away, because sometimes groups will bounce from generator to generator and keep you circling. Yeah. W which I've learned is actually the smart thing to do, and I learn sometimes more so playing as the killer what to do as a survivor. Yeah. Because I always tend to want to stay and work on the generator, and I'll try to hide somewhere, and I'll come back to it. But then sometimes they'll, like, proxy camp it, and they'll keep coming back, and you just can't fucking get ahead on it. Yeah. <laughs> but I really do like playing the killer. It's a nice balance. Plus, there's no skill checks. Yeah. Although the groups that are fucking teabagging all the time are assholes. I know, I don't know why they feel the need to do that. Like if they drop a pallet on you or they're running me for a bit and fucking... They're clearly good at it, they got me going. Yeah. And I just can't catch, and I'm like... But do you gotta be an asshole about it? I know, right? It's definitely nothing... It's not cool, at all. But that's where I'm like, if I get them... Because that's what that one guy was doing to me, and I was like, if I get you, I am literally just going to stand back just for... I don't care if you're the only one I get. Yeah. Been there. But the whole team was pretty good, because you'd, be, you'd see somebody else and I'd veer up. Because, like, I'm trying to get, like, okay, if I'm just not going to get this person, I go... But I always end up chasing them and chasing them, and then I find sometimes... They are down to three generators left already, and I've only chased and not even hit the one fucking person. Or even if I got a hit, still, they got two fucking generators done in that much time, right? Yeah, exactly. I, I, I ideally like trying to get a couple hooks in before the fucking fifth generator even pops. Yeah. Or like the first one pops, you know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean, yeah. I'm currently in a pretty good match right now. Uh... I got, this is my third hook. Uh, I missed, I missed that fucking tinkerer though. It's, uh, I really like spies, man, but I like my hex because the hex slows down the generator progress unless they find the totem, then the hex is garbage anyway. Yeah. I'm finding the nurse's calling is mint for finding people. Yeah. Especially where I'm running sloppy butcher. Yeah. Because it puts them in a hex or a heal state. I've had a bunch of times where I'm like, I could see somebody healing and I'm like, ooh, you're an easy guy. Yeah. And sometimes I get them and sometimes I don't. Concentrates all day, man. Yeah? How? I'm just like, today and tomorrow, I'm just like, fucking whatever. I gotta work tomorrow night, though. But, uh... Yeah. Sunday, it's dark. I need my stomach back in track, man. I feel fucking gross. Everything that was
was weak, like my fucking shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> and everything that was tight on my right side is slowly starting to loosen up. Yeah. Nice. Sleep in more. Why can't ya? Dex got hockey at nine. Oh shit, eh? I gotta be up to like usually if it's a practice, I don't always go if he's with his mother. Yeah. It's the his games I always go. I get ya. Unless I can't because I'm working or something like that. Right. I try to go because he knows I'm always there for him. No yeah. What. So he knows he can count on me to be there, right? And he likes when I'm there. Yeah. Gotta love that feeling. Right. That's what I try to think sometimes. I'm like, I think back to when I was a kid. Like, my parents huh. never needed to do nothing, and I thought my fucking... The world of my parents, you know what I mean? And yeah. I'm like... Sometimes you're just, you question yourself, you're like, am I doing a good job, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I know what you mean. Or, or you feel like you could be doing something better, or fucking whatever the case may be. Yep. But it's like, you know they're fucking happy, right? Exactly. For the first time, the baby said, asked my mother, he said, we go, why don't we go back with mommy? And she ma told him today. Yeah. He said, I don't want to go. I want to stay with you. Well. Oh. Sam, Sam was always the mama's boy. Declan, if he Declan had his choice, he wouldn't even bother going back with his mother. He'd stay with me. He's already said that. But I, I'm not stupid. Like, he needs his mother in his life, too. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. I would never fucking do that. I don't want to be that person. So I encourage it because it's just, it's the way it is. But he needs both of us regardless of what version of her i can't control what she's gonna do how she's gonna act it's true whatever the fuck but he at least sees her himself right yeah but he knows because they both say that she never does anything with him and i'm like that's fucking sad man like all i want is you to play with her. This yeah is like, i know it's not it's well, not it's fucking shit off don't worry about it and be a kid in the moment for that little bit and get down and do whatever they want to do and just fucking play with them and be stupid yep. and whatever and that is the fucking shit that they know and will remember they will yep that's even Sam starting to get you For him to say that? Yeah. Because he was always a mom's boy. And it always seemed like, like Declan was always a daddy's boy. Yeah. But, uh, like even sometimes when I bring him to daycare, he clings on to me and he doesn't want me to put him down. Right. And uh, the girl's name, Krista, that watches him, said he never even does that for her. No. What the fuck? Look, I thought he was a mama's voice. And she looks at me like, gave me this weird look like, yeah, okay. <laughs> they were cute when they were babies, it almost seemed to her. Now they're getting older and they talk back and they do other things and they're turning more into adults and she's just... Yeah. Yeah, you just can't tell them what to do anymore. Well, I don't... I never could with Sophia, man. She'd never listen to me. <laughs> She's supposed to. Oh, they're not supposed to listen. You're supposed to try to guide them, but you can't control them. Well, no. I do have to pick her up, and sometimes <laughs> it's time to go. Like mine test sometimes, but for the most part, they're pretty good. They, unless they're carried away, hyper. Like Sam, if he's overtired or something like that, he gets fucked up, and that's when he'll start being bad and not listening. Or a Declan, hardly ever. For the 
most part, they know what they're told and when they're told. They might need to be told a few times. Yeah. But we, we usually get there, right? Exactly. <laughs> Holy fuck, am I. Nice. <laughs> oh, all my fucking things out. Oh yeah, they're rough. Oh. Man, I got so much stuff left, and I'm gonna be ordering again soon. So I, don't keep I think I still got 70 left. Plus, I got like a little bitch. Concentrate. Oh yeah. Alright, I got two and two got out. Not bad, I've had worse. <laughs>